Hi, I'm Mark Zeray. I'm a cartoonist. I draw the comic strip George, which you can read at my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog. And I'm a Linux user. And I'm doing a series of Linux videos for new users, maybe experienced users, showing you some tips and tricks and ins and outs of Linux and why you too should give Linux a try. I also have another blog called One Click Linux. That's a blog that I've done over oh, a number of years on and off for um, introduction to Linux for Linux beginners yeah, that sort of thing it's for Linux beginners and uh, check that out because there's a lot of uh, really grateful great great useful information there for um, how to use Linux desktop environments software applications on and on and on if you get a chance and you need extra help and you want to get into Linux PC Linux OS is a terrific Linux distribution to use. They've got a really wonderful community of helpful people up there. Uh, so you want to visit PC Linux OS forums. And if you're looking for Linux, don't forget to go to distrowatch.com. That's a website that has every Linux distribution under the sun. So you can mix and match and try out different Linux distributions, test drive them all. But anyhow, what today's video is uh, using uh, the file manager how to move files around, how to copy files, and those kinds of things. Things that you're probably already, uh, well, attuned to in Windows. But I'm going to show you how we accomplish some of these things in Linux and some of the shortcuts that make these tasks a lot easier. So let's get out of the way, and I'll get right to it. The file manager in the KDE desktop environment is called Dolphin. And Dolphin looks like this. Now, when I open up Dolphin, I'm going to close this down again. I'm going to show you. When I open up Dolphin, use this little file cabinet right here. Open up Dolphin. It defaults right to my directory where I have all my comic strips that I'm working on. Now, I can do that by going to the Configure Dolphin under Settings. And under Startup, I can then name the directory that I want to go to. In this case, I've set it up to point to my George Toon Strips directory. So every time I open it up, it'll go right to that directory because that's the directory I use the most. That's the first really nice, easy feature to find in Dolphin. Um, Dolphin is kind of an outgrowth of another file manager that has been in KDE for a number of years called Conqueror. Conqueror with a K. Now, Conqueror has been left in the newer versions of KDE is sort of a legacy file manager. And Conqueror looks like this. I already have an instance of it open right here. And we'll get to this in just a minute because there's a couple of things I want to show to you in Dolphin that are really neat and really helpful. Uh, so first of all, uh, KDE has this uh, feature where you can snap your window to the side and have it uh, just kind of uh, glue to the side there and you can open up another instance of Dolphin of course have it open up on the other side now normally this is what you would do in Windows especially Windows 7 you would have a window open up here on the left hand side and a window open up on the right hand side and then you would move through your different directories and then maybe move something from oh, I don't know from uh, here over to here left to right and I'm not going to do that uh, with two open windows. The great thing about Dolphin is, and Conqueror as well, is that you don't have to worry about opening up two windows. Dolphin has this really nice feature up here. It's called Split. So you can split that window in half. Now you have two instances of the same directory running in the same window. And you can see this is just one complete window here with just two individual panels. And from here now on the right hand side, I can say move to this directory called uh, Postcard where I can open that up there. And then maybe from this directory here, take this bit of art that I have and just drag it and say copy and copy it over. And you can see here when I'm moving something over, I'm then given a sub menu that pops up. I can move, copy, link, or just cancel. In this case, I'm going to cancel. That's what makes Dolphin so easy. It has these menus that pop up that kind of help you along and what you want to do with the files. But this feature here 
is absolutely wonderful. So you can split your window in half and you can uh, just by highlighting with your mouse and clicking in the area you can make that window or that panel active and uh, here you can see the left hand uh, panel is active and now I'm going to move over to the right hand panel and just click on it. Now that's active. You can see that by this blue border that has just lit up. And I'll do it again over here and you can see the blue border lights up telling you that it's active. Uh, let's click over here again and if you just want to go back to one window you can just go ahead and close the active view and now you're back to one panel. Really really very very helpful. Dolphin also has uh, a directory on the side, left hand side right here, which is really nice. So you can open up uh, new directories if you want to, add them uh, just by saying add entry and you can give a description of it here. So we're going to say, um, I'm going to give it a description of say more strips, more comic strips. We'll call it more comic strips. Okay, and then I'm going to navigate to, oh, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll just go here to 1977 strips. Okay, I have some things for 1977, and I'll just leave it at that. More, and we'll call it 1997 comic strips, and say OK. So now it's added right here. And just by clicking on that, it goes right to that directory. So that's kind of nice. And I can even edit this further, and I can give it its own fancy icon if I want to. I don't know. Maybe I want to give it something, something a little different just by looking at, um, I don't know, maybe steal something from an application, something. I could just do whatever I want to um, just to kind of personalize it. Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it the, uh, the GIMP icon and there you can see it right there. So it tells me that I'm going to be working on those comic strips in GIMP which is the Photoshop equivalent in Linux. So that's another great feature of Dolphin. You can just add a directory on this side here, a shortcut to a directory. Uh, some of these things are there by default. Home, uh, documents, downloads. I added my financial uh, link to it. The network one is there. Root, we talked about that, the administration level. Uh, trash, I added George Toon strips. I've also added some things for networking. And this is the notebook that I network to. So there are uh, some really, really easy tools to help you do file navigation in Dolphin. I'm going to show you now Conqueror and how Conqueror differs a little bit. I have an instance of Conqueror open. Now Con Conqueror, again, has been around for a long time. And they've kept it in the newer versions of KDE, and I'm very happy about that because it's a little more powerful when it comes to moving files around and creating panels. Here you can see up here at the top, uh, you have a split view top and bottom and a split view left and right. Now I can split this panel any number of ways. I can split it up and down, uh, and I can also then split it left and right. So I can have a lot of different configurations uh, for this. In, in Conqueror, which is really nice. Let me close this active view, and I'll close this active view. Uh, really, most people use the left and right split, but what's nice is you can split it again and split it again. Now, I do this in backing up all my comic strips. I have some external hard drives that are plugged into my main system, and then I navigate to each of those uh, directories or drives in each of these panels. So I'll just use this as an example. Let's click on right here the 2010 features and then in the second panel here I'll click on 2011 and over here I'll click on 2012 and over here I'll click on uh, 2013. So now I have a directory for each of those, a panel for each of those directories. What's really nice is that I can save that configuration. So I can save that as a view profile as. And here it's a file management profile, so I'm just going to give it a new name and say, um, call it yearly comic directories. And I'm going to save that. So let's say I have something that 
I want to say from the 2000, I'm working on something that's in the 2010 directory, and I want to save it to 2011, and then 2012, and then 2013. Well, I can do that then just by having this profile open. I don't have to search around for each of those directories. It's right here. Let me show you how that's done. I'm going to close this active view, and close this active view, and close this active view. So let's say I've just opened up George Toon comic strips, and here it is. It's open. Just by going back to settings and saying load the view profile, I can come down here too. You can see it right there, yearly comic directories. And there they are. They're all opened up. All those panels open up. Conqueror goes to all those directories, and I can then go ahead and move my files around to the places that I want them to be at. I don't have to fumble around and try to look for this stuff and open up multiple windows. It's all right here. Well, okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you in file management. I know it's a quick overview, but I'm just trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter, give you a little bit of information rather than have you sit through something that's a half an hour long. Uh, like I have in the past. So we'll be exploring some more file management tips and tricks in KDE and Dolphin and Conqueror as we go forward. And I'll show you some stuff regarding uh, some of the applications and other features of the Linux desktop. I hope you get over to um, the distro watch and download a copy of Linux and try it out. Find a spare box that you have collecting dust, something that uh, maybe you don't want to have Windows on anymore, download one of these Linux distributions, install it, try it out. If it's a spare computer that you're using, don't be afraid of making mistakes because it won't be your main system until you become used to Linux. That's the way I did it. I got a spare system, I loaded Linux on it, and little by little I learned about it, and now that's all I run uh, is Linux in my um, uh, for my comic strip, uh, for my own personal business, and for um, my day-to-day -day computing tasks. Yes, I also do run Windows uh, in a family business that I'm involved in, but uh, for myself personally, Linux is definitely the choice. And I also do run Linux at the family business as well uh, for security purposes when I'm online. Anyhow, that's all I wanted to, to uh, tell you today. Thanks so much for... Uh, uh, tuning in, <laughs> subscribe to my channel, check out my blog, check out One Click Linux, visit the friendly folks at PC Linux OS, and please get over to DistroWatch and get yourself a copy of Linux. I recommend PCLinuxOS.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you again real soon.